Hey, welcome to bedtime. My kids are all in their beds. I have no idea if they're actually sleeping or not. I'm really hoping that they are. But I am here to talk to you tonight in the wee hours about homeschooling because it is at night when I have coffee that I don't really know why I'm drinking other than that I'm tired. Um, that I'm actually able to sit down and reflect on my day and I'm able to reflect on what I did and what I didn't do. Now, what I did today as far as my life was I spent time with my husband. I set up my new backdrop, well he did, and I watched Little House on the Prairie with my children, which is a phenomenal show to watch as a family if you have not done that already. And I worked like a crazy person and managed to sleep a little bit, talk on the phone, pretty much didn't do a whole lot as far as homeschooling goes. So the homeschool mom in me is feeling pretty bad right now. <laughs> I did not get a lot accomplished. I didn't even make dinner. We had leftovers, which is great because I had leftovers, but I really kind of failed in the mom homeschooling front. My kids made paper. I don't know how much paper they went through. It must have been half a ream has been gone through in the last week of paper because they've discovered folding and paper planes and they're stapled. They're stapling planes together to make more planes and extended planes and folded claws and there's a lot of paper all over the place. And I've just kind of been letting it happen and saying, you know, I have deadlines, I've got work, I've got stuff I gotta do, and I have two options in front of me. I can't possibly do everything, and my kids are happy and they're playing, and I think some of them were bowling in the kitchen with cups, and my house was being destroyed as I, as I sat there processing this. And in a moment, I decided to let it go. And you know, now my house is a disaster and my kids are hopefully sleeping and we start all over again tomorrow. But I wanted to sit down and chat with you for a few minutes in my reflection moment to say this. First of all, there are days you need to let go. There are days you're not gonna get everything done. There are days that you could and you're gonna choose not to, or you're gonna choose to and maybe you'll regret it. Because sometimes pushing through, laboring through, when we just need a break, or when we've got other things that are priorities, then what happens is our stress and anxiety of all those other things we should be doing, or stress and anxiety of, I feel like I can't do this right now, comes out in our homeschooling. And we do not realize the power of our homeschool environment and our homeschool atmosphere. And the atmosphere of your homeschool comes from you. Your kids can impact it. They can impact it with their attitudes and their struggles and they're tired and they're whiny and your homeschool can impact it. Your curriculum can impact it. The events of the day like doctor's appointments and scheduling and violin lessons can impact it. But your atmosphere of your homeschool comes from you. You set the tone. If you are feeling stressed and anxious and pressure and you feel like you've got to keep up, then that is passed on to your kids. And you will take all that press, pressure and anxiety and everything else that you're feeling and you will put it onto their backs and they will now feel all those same things. And maybe that day that could have been maybe a little less learning, a little more folding and a lot more mess, but fun and enjoyable could be more of a stressful, anxious, you know, losing your cool day where at the end of the day you feel even more like a failure. So if you are hitting a block, if you feel like I need a break or I have all this other stuff to do but we've got school and I can't miss a day, you can miss a day. I give you permission to every once in a while just say, meh. Not today. Today we're doing a four day school week or a three day, or you know what? We're taking the week off and we'll work over spring break when other kids are off. You have freedom and flexibility because this is your homeschool and you have that freedom and you have that flexibility. So I give you permission to do that. But for those of you who sometimes what happens is we give ourselves a day, we give ourselves two days, we give ourselves a week or sometimes even a month. I've been known to do that, we've moved, okay? Then what happens is you can get into a bit of a slump. And if anybody is right now sitting there and thinking, oh, she's giving me permission, but you feel in your heart like, yeah, I've been here too long. 
you'll know, you'll know when you've been there too long, that maybe you've taken too long of a break, you lack total motivation to get back into it, and you feel frustrated, and you have no desire, and your kids are just kind of spinning their wheels and fighting a whole lot more because there's no structure in your home, and you are feeling like, okay, I'm failing at this, then it might possibly be your time to step back in and power through. Because there is a time for both. There's a time to let go, and there's a time to plunge forward and this might be your time to plunge forward. So all this to say in my end of day reflections, today was my day to let go. Tomorrow was my day to plunge forward. And for anybody that is feeling like they're just, I don't know what to do. Well, you know what? Just drink more coffee or tea and it's going to come to you. And you don't have to do everything. Maybe that day you do your morning basket or you do your math and you don't get a whole lot else done, but you're still homeschooled and they still learned something. Sometimes it's about finding balance. Play a game with your kids. Take them out somewhere for their, a learning experience like grocery shopping, right? Give them a calculator or something and call it math. <laughs> Homeschool on you guys. Homeschool on. <laughs>